Today at SPG1 Tactical, we go dark. But then we see in the dark. That's much better. Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan and welcome to SPG1 Tactical. This video has two purposes in that addition to an unboxing video, this is an introduction to a new series on night vision. I've been a firearms and combatives instructor for over six years and I've been a competitive marksman since I was in high school, but I've unfortunately not had the opportunity or privilege to play in the dark until now. But one thing I noticed during my initial foray into the world of night vision was the overwhelming amount of information, opinions, specs, and acronyms. Uh, it's my intention that as I grow and learn my way around night vision, that I take what I learn and convey that in these videos in an informative, simple to understand, and hopefully humorous manner. Along the way, we'll be going through different levels of night vision, uh, what the specs mean, all the different acronyms, hopefully some training courses, and of course doing some fun non-tactical activities in the dark for grins and giggles. So be sure to like and subscribe for future videos and check us out on Instagram. But without further ado, let's go through the unboxing of the PVS-14 from Night Vision Devices. <laughs> All right, so now in front of me, I have the pouch that the PVS-14 comes in straight from the factory. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of your standard OD green uh, Cordura denier type nylon. Uh, it has a buckle clip on the front with some webbing and some lanyard and two D-rings. But let's open this guy up. So an opening, first thing we're gonna grab out is a Ziploc bag. In this Ziploc bag, we have our manual. This is the operation, excuse me, operator manual for the monocular night vision device, MNVD. So this will go over all the important stuff, probably maintenance and care, all the pieces and uh, some nomenclature. Then we have some optical tissue, some cleaning tissue. We have uh, some sacrificial, excuse me, sacrificial lenses here for both your objective and your eyepiece. So if you're doing some type of training involving uh, simulation rounds, whether that's UTM or airsoft, something to protect those lenses because you've invested a lot of money, uh, you don't want the lenses to break and have to get those taken care of. We've got some extra padding that can go on the skull crusher. And we've got some AA batteries. Next, I'm going to pull out our skull crusher. So for those of you who don't know, this is affectionately known as a skull crusher. Uh, as you can see, it's a way to wear the night vision device on your head uh, without investing any type of helmet or uh, something like that. You can control the depth from where it sits towards your eye. Uh, it's got some elastic here and a wonderfully sexy chin strap. We have our J-arm. So this attaches to the body of the PVS-14 and clips in to our skull crusher so you can wear it right out of the box. And then we have our PVS-14. I am super excited to get this. Uh, it came in on my birthday. Uh, and this is really my first foray, as I said before, into night vision, so I'm excited to get out and run with this. Uh, as you can see, the device itself, 
is pretty simple. You have an end cap here with a pinhole cover, so that helps prevent any uh, extraneous light or daytime use. It protects the, uh, the tube. Um, we've got our AA battery compartment. We have our infrared uh, illuminator uh, projection points. Uh, we've got our on off switch, which has settings of reset, off, on, and IR pull. So you turn it one click to turn it on, turn it one more click while pulling to turn on the infrared illuminator uh, for a little extra uh, illumination in really dark areas. You have your diopter settings for your uh, eye focus and eye relief. And then you have an eye cup, which is detachable. So if you wanted to rotate it or take it off completely, you don't have to have that on. Uh, this bad boy uh, weighs in at approximately 12.2 ounces, according to my food scale. And I am really excited to get around running and playing with this. Uh, what's left in the bag? We have an extra little dangly pouch here where you can put in more batteries or whatever you'd like. You may be able to see there's some elastic webbing in here that you can attach things to. They are sealed in the bottom so you can put more batteries in there or whatever you like. And then in this front pouch, at least, it came with a lanyard for the bag if you wanted to carry it that way. So that is the unboxing of the Night Vision Devices PVS-14. This is by far the sexiest and most flattering thing I have ever worn. Man, looks like we forgot to pay the power bill. Let's cut to the uh, sponsor so we can get the lights turned back on. S2S 5-in-1 Gum Lube. Clean stuff buildup. Lubricates vital parts. Stops rust in its tracks. Penetrates beneath the surface. And resists carbon buildup. If you're looking for the best all-in-one solution for your firearms or suppressors, the search is over. Find your solution with S2S. Available at s2sgunloop.com. And we're back with the power turned back on. Special thanks to S2S 5-in-1 Gun Lube for sponsoring this video. They've got a great quality, solid product, so be sure to check them out. And if you visit s2sgunloop.com, there will be an automatic 10% SPG1 discount applied in the cart when you check out. Also again, be sure to like and subscribe and follow this channel for the continuation of the Night Vision series, gear reviews, future updates, tactically minded content, and possible deals on S2S 5-in-1 Gun Lube. My next Night Vision video will be discussing my helmet setup uh, to include what everything is, why I chose it, the mounts, the safety lanyards, ear pro, etc. And perhaps you even have some experience or input that you can impart along the way. So make sure the comment section is active with questions, comments, experiences, and humor. But this does it for the series intro and the unboxing of the Night Vision Devices PVS-14. So until next time, stay safe, stay smart, and stay tactical, my friends. No. Not right, dude, not right now. No. This is what you get when you try to make a night vision video where the dogs have access to your location. Uh-huh. Silly melon. Cut.